Hello, and welcome to Flux's demo on the NetSuite baseline integration via Workato as middleware. We've broken this demo into two sections. The first section covers syncing data from Flux to NetSuite, and the second section covers syncing data from NetSuite to Flux. So let's jump on into it. The first thing that you'll want to know about syncing data from Flux to NetSuite are the requirements. Currently, the only requirement for the NetSuite baseline is that the payment has to have a related grant in the granted state. The second thing that you'll want to know is which states send the data over to NetSuite. The NetSuite baseline will send payments from Flux to NetSuite when the payment enters the scheduled state, the contingent created state, and the contingent fulfilled state. These names will vary based on your configuration and can be changed at a later date. And lastly, you'll need to have the following dynamic fields populated in order to send data over to NetSuite. Now let's send this payment data over to NetSuite. Remember, for the NetSuite baseline, when the payment enters the scheduled state, it will send over to NetSuite. Please allow up to five minutes for the data to sync. Once the sync is done, we can jump into NetSuite and confirm that the record was created or updated. That covers the user's experience with the integration, but what happens on the back end? Let's jump into Workato and look at the recipe for the NetSuite baseline. This recipe, which is part of the NetSuite baseline, covers sending payments from Flux to NetSuite. Our first step here is for when the payment enters the scheduled, contingent fulfilled, or contingent created states. Once the payment has gone into one of those states, we grab that payment information. Once we grab the information, we check to see that the payment has a related grant, and then we make sure that that payment has an organization payee or a user payee. After checking for an organization payee or a user payee, we confirm an organization payee is present. If it is, we then pull organization information. We then search NetSuite for a list of vendors. If an ID is returned, we then search for vendor bills. And if the payment from Flux is in contingent created, we want to make sure that a vendor credit is created along with a vendor bill. If it is not in contingent created, we search to make sure that the vendor bill ID is returned. And if it is, we update. And if it isn't, we create. And if the vendor does not exist, we then create a vendor in NetSuite and associate the bill. We do the same thing for user payee. At the end of user payee, we do some validation and error checks and make sure that that appears on the integration log card. If you don't have your integration log card turned on, you can contact your CSM. And that concludes the recipe for sending payment information from Flux to NetSuite. Let's go ahead and go into NetSuite and look at how NetSuite syncs with Flux via Workato. Once you're in NetSuite and you have the bill up in your display, you'll go ahead and make the payment, hit save, and then the recipe will pick up the payment and send it over to Flux. There are no requirements for sending the bill over to Flux other than that the status is paid. After five minutes, we can see that the payment is now moved to the paid state has the paid app populated with today's date, and that amount paid has also been paid. And that's it for the user's experience. Let's go ahead and hop into the Workato recipe for the NetSuite baseline. This recipe, which is part of our NetSuite baseline, is responsible for sending NetSuite bill information over to Flux. Our first step here is making sure that the NetSuite bill is in the paid full state, once it is, we grab the existing payment from Flux and make sure that it matches our vendor bill. If it does, we update the payment in Flux, and if it doesn't, we throw an error and send that to the integration log. Everything else is just our standard validation and error handling. And that's it for sending NetSuite vendor bill information over to Flux. Thank you for watching this demo.